Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. This is going to be a reading. It'll be a general love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I know that these are very tough times right now. There's a lot of uncertainty, so I'm sending a lot of positivity, serenity, and love your way. Um, Today's reading is going to be um, just a general love reading, and I'm using two oracle decks to start. I've shuffled these off camera, so I'm just going to cut the deck uh, on camera. So let's start and see what we have for Aries in love. Let's see what we have for you guys. Message in a bottle. Okay. Some sort of message coming through here. What else do we have for Aries? In regards to love. Let's see what else we have. All tied up. Interesting. So someone possibly tied up or either they're not speaking or they are stuck in a situation. We'll see what the tarot has to say about that. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented on my videos. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and they're mostly positive, so I'm very grateful. Spirit, what message does he have for Aries in regards to love? Just Spirit, Aries need to know in regards to love, please. Spirit, what does Aries, Aries need to know in regards to love? Aries need to know regards to love what does Aries need to know whoa well that one just flew out we have the world coming into the reading here what does Aries need to know in regards to love whatever situation I talk about today time is fluid so it could have already happened be currently happening or happen in the near future and the roles can be reversed. So I could be talking about you or the person you are connecting with. Feel free to flip it as it resonates. So this is the recent past, current energies here, and then one card for the near future. However, I'm looking at it as a whole. So just wanna try this new spread today. Okay, King of Swords. So we have the world, Ten of Wands, Empress, King of Wands, Six of Wands, King of Swords. So some sort of cycle closing or beginning here with the world. And I, I definitely think something's ending because I have the Ten of Wands right after that. So something that's been kind of a burden, something that's been weighing heavily on you um, or this other person. And that's making me think of this all tied up Oracle card here. Um, someone that's been weighed down, you know, stuck in some sort of situation. The Empress underneath, I feel like someone's focused on growth on abundance on investing in something that has a future someone is attracted to someone else here possibly as well um typically the empress is a mother or a wife um but more than anything i see her as someone who is sitting on a throne of her own making she has everything at her disposal she everything she touches turns into gold i have king of wands someone taking action about something um possibly based on attraction because i feel like this king of wands is looking as, at this empress and wanting victory here with the six of wands and i feel like this king of swords has to do with this message in a bottle someone wanting to communicate a truth here provide clarity to a situation or possibly cut something out i'm going to clarify all of these to see what that's all about so let's see, Aries. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Aries, please, for love. Help me clarify these messages, please, for Aries in regards to love. Let's start with the world. Tell me about the world. A cycle closing here so that a new one can begin. 
Tell me about the world. Okay, we got the Page of Cups. Someone coming in with an apology or an offer to communicate their feelings. Anything else for the world? Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But that's, you know, Page of Cups could also be someone younger. We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. Okay, so I feel like whatever change you're going through, it's going to make you very happy. Um, happy changes is what I'm thinking here. Possibly starting with this Page of Cups coming in and offering you a cup of love. I mean, this is all about opening up emotionally with the Page of Cups. So I think whatever this person communicates is going to make you very happy. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Aries. What's this Ten of Wands about? Okay, we got the Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Anything else for this Ten of Wands? Three of Cups. Interesting. You got the Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and Three of Cups. So I'm seeing here someone was holding back or holding tightly to something that they have to let go of. Because I have the Four of uh, Pentacles and the Ten of Wands here. So someone needs to let go of something. And I feel like they haven't been speaking up about what they feel, which I feel is either they want to come together with someone or they want to reunite with someone here with the Three of Cups. Someone could possibly be in a third party situation and someone has realized they have to let one person go. That's kind of how that works. Um, with Page of Wands, though, there's a message coming in. Um, someone sees a sees something that they want, see something that they're passionate about, and they want to go and deliver a message about that. Um, I have that right next to the King of Wands. So whatever message is, I mean, it's like someone's taking action based off of this feeling of starting something new. I can't see that. Okay. So let's see what this Empress is all about. Tell me about the Empress. Oh my God. Jeez. That is way too many. Tell me about the Empress. Wanting to grow attraction. Okay, we got death. Transformation, endings. Could be a Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I get one more for the okay. Okay. So I have death here, followed by the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like something possibly is ending here with a Queen of Pentacles. It's something long term of possibly a long term commitment. And I have the High Priestess and the Nine of Swords. So someone who is trying to, either they're trying to make a decision and it's very difficult, their intuition is telling them that they have to put an end to something and they are very stressed and anxious about this. Um, for others of you, this person is worried or feeling guilty about not speaking up, not being completely transparent about something with the High Priestess, almost like there was something unknown here and this person knew about it, but that has all come to an end. Um, this could have been a third party situation where someone realized, either someone realized there was a third party situation and ended something or someone realized that they had to make a choice. It's not easy. Someone probably wanted their cake and to have their cake and eat it too, possibly as well. There's a lot of different scenarios that I'm getting here. Others of you, someone is not listening to their intuition. See how that person's kind of like closing their ears and kind of hunkering down. It's like their intuition is telling them something and they're trying to be in denial about it. But whatever is happening, whatever's going on, there's the wheel of fortune is turning. So that means things are changing, whether you want it to or not. 
cycles are closing, whether you want them or not, with the world. There's a huge change taking place. And I don't know if this person's going after a queen of pentacles or an empress, but I feel like these are two different energies. So, you know, choices must be made. Tell me about this king of wands. What's the action that this person is thinking about? What's this queen of wands about? What's the king of wands about? Oh my gosh. I can never just get one or two cards. So we got the devil, sign of Capricorn here. We got the hermit, sign of Virgo. Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like someone here has withdrawn from a toxic connection, has wanted to probably gone in some sort of journey. Um, someone could also just be recently single with the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, just alone. Um, with this Devil, I feel like someone, this is the all tied up energy that I'm getting here. Um, someone trapped in a situation here. Um, I feel like they are going to free themselves from that. Possibly they already did with the nine of pentacles and the hermit. Someone wants to communicate with the eight of wands. That's that message in a bottle. There will, there will be communication coming in is what I'm seeing. And that's part of the action. This person's taking page of swords out of the deck. This person has been watching you or wanting to communicate. I feel like for a while, tell me about the six of wands. Yeah, this person, King of Cups, Nine of Cups, this person wants victory. They have a lot of emotion. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They want victory with you is what I'm getting here. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Three of Swords. So there could have been past heartbreak. or a third party situation. I just keep getting that. I have five of wands, another deck. There could have been some sort of arguments or competition or just disagreements, drama, um, regarding a situation this person was in, either you or them. And, but, but I don't see that holding this person back. I feel like one person is gonna be heartbroken in this connection. I don't know who it is, but someone has either overcome their heartbreak and is going after what they truly want, or one person here is going to lose. So tell me about this king of tell me about this king of swords. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. So this person is communicating that they want stability here. Anything else for this King of Swords? The world again. Probably gonna tell you that they're ending, they, they're ended a cycle to start a new one. And judgment, yep, makes sense. Someone has had an awakening, they want a second chance possibly, or they want to, to have a new start. A new cycle that is based off of truth and stability here. So let me get some more of these some more oracle cards. I haven't done this for any of the other signs, but I feel like pulling some for you. Spirit, what else can you tell me for Aries regarding this situation? Any other messages for Aries regarding this situation? Let's see what other messages we can get. Whoever this is, they, they really are thinking about communicating the fact that they've ended a cycle. The fact that they're on a new journey a new phase in their life, that things have changed. Look at this judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. This person, um, I think it's very interesting that I have judgment and judgment here. This person has probably made some sort of judgment call or has had some sort of um, karmic situation that has taught them a lesson. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So this person has grown from this situation. That's the vibe that I was getting. Like I've changed. I have learned from my mistakes. I'm a different person. Um, 
you know i feel like this person whoever this is i mean the world the wheel of fortune i'm surprised that they have a tower moment here because that's what it feels like like this person has had some really big changes there it is forgiveness this person's probably going to ask you for forgiveness um that they want abundance with you bottom of the deck that they have a lot of love for you abundant th there's like a feeling they get when they're with you of this empress energy of being able to grow and have something long term so i'm glad i did that because i feel like i got a little more glimpse into this person and what they're what they're truly wanting here um i kind of also want to clarify this three of swords why not tell me more about this three of swords for aries what is this three of swords about page of swords okay anything else what else do you have regarding this three of swords two of pentacles yeah i feel like this person was juggling two people and one person is going to get dropped feel like one person is either watching all of this go down yeah there's the tower oh my god didn't i just say <laughs> that i was shocked that i didn't see it <laughs> yeah there's gonna be some huge shake up here regarding i feel strongly a third party situation if it's not a third party situation this person has to make a decision of some sort that's gonna break someone's heart I feel like someone has been watching this unfold or, you know, wants to kind of like almost fight about this. Um, wants to possibly have a, a discussion about this. But honestly, I feel like someone has already made up their mind with the two of um, pentacles here. I feel like someone has already made up their mind because they've already realized what their what their nine, what their nine of cups is, who they want victory with. And this tower moment, I mean, it, it's just, it completely tumbles something down in order for something else to be rebuilt. And so with judgment, I feel like someone has put an end to something or something has ended completely here. Some, a chapter has completely closed or is going to close. And that's going to open the door for a new cycle to begin. Um, someone has really been looking at their actions with judgment, has really been um, realizing things about themselves, has had some sort of awakening or clarity about a situation they were stuck in. And now they want to communicate who they want to be with. They want something stable with someone else. They want forgiveness. They want to tell someone that they've grown, that they've learned from their mistakes. I mean, I see that very clearly. So it's going to be up to you, obviously, if you want to take them back. I'll leave it here, Aries. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Again, I send a lot of love, light, and um, serenity your way during these difficult times. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed. Please consider subscribing or liking this video if you enjoy my readings. I appreciate all of your comments, so leave me a comment if this resonated with you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.